God cares even about our thoughts. That's why we have to make sure that our thoughts are in alignment with the word of God. Amen? Amen. 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 And this is fundamental. But if we don't get this, then we can't rise to the supernatural. We can't rise to the higher things of God. Amen? Amen? So we understand again that our thoughts and our beliefs produce energy. Amen? Everything in our life is responding to our thoughts, our beliefs, and our expectations, and, our, and to our words every single day. Y'all believe that? Yes. Amen. Everything is responding to us. That means that we are creating our world. Mm. That means that we are creating our world. So Oprah created her empire. Wow. And that the man on the corner created his poverty. Wow. We are creating it. Everything we're doing is creating our world every single day. Yeah. Matthew says, according, Matthew 9, 29, according to your faith, be it unto you. Amen? Amen. According to your faith, be it unto you. Again, Things obey words. Everything that we, we speak is obeying our words. That's why Jesus says, Truly I tell you that if anyone says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and has no, no doubt in his heart, but believes that it will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, whatever you ask, in that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand to pray, if you, have, if you hold anything against another, forgive it. So that your Father in Heaven will forgive your trespasses as well. And so I want to give a little bit of um, understanding to why God tells us to forgive. What does forgiving have to do with us being able to, to see manifestation of the words that we speak? Another thing I think that was talked about a little bit on yesterday is that everything has a frequency. Everything has energy. Everything is vibrating at a different frequency. Amen? That's why certain more, some people, some Christians have more power than other people than other Christians right. because they're vibrating at a different frequency. And so basically what it means, so, so you think it's new age, it means that we have to develop a greater capacity in our spirit. Some of us, our soul is this big and the spirit is this big. Mm. Which is why our faith is so small, which is why we don't see manifestation in our life. Thank and God you. is trying to get us to develop a greater capacity in our spirit. Yeah. Amen? And so, and so Jesus being fully God and fully man, That's right. It wasn't that he was God, that he was able to do the things that he did. Because if it was, then he wouldn't have told his disciples, you do the same thing that I'm doing. That's right. He wouldn't have told us, greater works than these should you do. It wasn't that he was God. It was that his spirit was full. His spirit was filled to capacity. Without measure. So that he, without measure. So that he can speak and it happen immediately. Amen? Amen? And so God wants to get us to a place where our spirit is higher. So that when we, when we pray for the sick... Miracles happen immediately. So that we begin to believe God for things, things begin to happen. Amen? Amen? And so the reason why we have to forgive is this. There are things that we do as believers that increase the, the capacity of our spirit. It's like if you were to have a, a small water hose compared to a big pipe. So this is the spirit's ability to move through us. Amen? Because God wants to use us. He says we're a vessel. With instrument. And so he wants to move through us. Amen. It's not us. That's why we know it's not us doing Come the on. work. Come on. That's what the world wants us to think. It's us doing the work. Right. It's us putting in all the toil. And, and we're going to make it happen by our own, pull, our boot, pull us up by our own bootstraps. That's not the way that we work. Amen. And so in order for us to begin to, to as the world would say, vibrate at a different frequency or to increase our spirit's capacity, there are things that we do, such as praying in the spirit. That's right. There's a reason we pray in the spirit. It builds us up. It builds up our spirit, man. Another thing we do is worship, which is why it's so important when we come into the house of God. Forget what it sounds like. Worship God. Hallelujah. Just begin to believe that Glory. he's here. Amen? Amen? Begin to know that he's here, and you worship your maker. You worship your creator. Because worship begins to shift our spirit. You can be down and depressed. I've been depressed and down before. And it's like, you just hear something say, just worship. And you begin to worship. And immediately, those things begin to, to decrease. And you begin to feel more empowered. So another thing we do is we, um, we pray in the spirit. We, we pray in the spirit. We worship. But another thing is that we have to forgive. Because forgiveness and things like hatred, they bring us down. They bring down our frequency. So you're trying to do something and you haven't forgiven, you, you clogged up. I see. We can't, the spirit can't move through us when we clogged up. And so we have to forgive. We have to let it go. We have to w walk in love. Love is the highest vibration, the highest frequency. Amen? Mm -hmm. 